हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू एंड वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ए न्यू एंड द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट चैप्टर ऑफ अकाउंटेंसी ऑफ एडवांस्ड अकाउंटेंसी दैट इज योर होल्डिंग कंपनी सो बिफोर गोइंग टू द चैप्टर I like to get, tell you what is exactly called as holding company. Section two, subsection forty-six of Companies Act, two thousand thirteen. This is giving the definition of holding company. The definition is like this: the company having one or more subsidiaries. the definition itself is not clear about what is holding company the definition as given in the law is like this the company which has got subsidiary that shows that we should know what is exactly subsidiary subsidiary is defined under section 287 A holding company controls the composition of board of director or exercise not less than exercise more than more than fifty percent of voting power in other company. This is holding. that means the company which is controlling the board of directors of other company or more than 50% voting power in other company the other company is called subsidiary the controlling company is called holding company फिर भी वॉट एवर मे बी दिस इज ऑल्सो रिक्वेस्ट सर्ट एंड एक्सप्लेनेशन सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विथ द डिटेल्स ऑफ हाउ द होल्डिंग कंपनी एंड सब्सिडियरी रिलेशनशिप एग्जिस्ट सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विथ मोर डिटेल लेट अस टेक द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ This is a company, and let us say this is X Limited, and this is a S Limited. This is S Limited, and this is X Limited. this company has got say 1 lakh equity share this is 10000 equity share i am dividing the share capital like this this is again 10000 equity share this is again 10000 equity share this is again 10000 equity share This is again ten thousand equity share. This is also ten thousand. This is also ten thousand. This is ten thousand equity share. So if you count this, this comes to your one lakh equity share in total. टोटल वन लाख इक्विटी शेयर एस कंपनी है एंड एच कंपनी इन्वेस्टेड एच कंपनी परचेस्ड से एच कंपनी परचेस्ड से सिक्सटी परसेंट ऑफ शेयर्स इन एस लिमिटेड दैट मीन्स 
एच कंपनी लिमिटेड परचेज 60000 शेयर्स टोटल 60% होल्डिंग दैट इज योर ग्रेटर देन 50% टोटल शेयर कैपिटल इज 1 लाख 50% इज 50000 एच लिमिटेड इज होल्डिंग 60% इक्विटी शेयर्स इन एस लिमिटेड दैट मींस एच लिमिटेड इज अ शेयर होल्डर ऑफ एस लिमिटेड as we are also investing in some company similarly as limited also invested in the share capital of s limited and the investment say for example is 60 percent which is greater than 50 percent so what will happen that means if 60% is hold by H limited, the other shareholders, the other shareholders will hold, other will hold, others holding will be 40%. Think total, total will be 100%. And the holding company holds 60% share in S Limited. That means the other persons, the other shareholders are 40%. Friends, if the holding company holds 50, more than 50%, maybe 51%, the other shareholder will be holding 49%. If the holding company holds 70%, the other shareholder will hold 30%. If the holding company holds 90%, the other shareholder will hold 10%. If the holding company holds 100%, then other shareholder will hold nil. And in that case, where the holding company, where H Limited holds 100% share capital, this is called wholly owned company. Total company is held by H limited. So we will come later on. So if this H limited hold more than 50% of paid up capital of S limited, then this relationship is called holding and subsidiary relationship. But let us say how this is satisfying the definition under section 287. 287 is telling that each holding company who controls more than 50% of the composition of board of directors. That is holding company controls the composition of board of directors. Holding company controls the decision making of the subsidiary company or S Limited. Then S Limited will be the subsidiary of H Limited or H Limited is the holding of subsidiary S Limited. But how it is possible if H Limited hold more than 50% share capital, obviously, they can appoint directors in this company by virtue of their share holding or by virtue of their majority share. Right? So, if 
the hold h limited hold 60 70 80 percent of share capital in s limited h limited can appoint directors more directors in the board of s limited and as you know the company does not take decision by itself the board of directors are the powerhouse of the company they take all the decision pertaining to the company so if the age limited appoint more than 50 percent of director in s limited obviously s limited can influence the decision in S limited. So section 2 subsection 87 is telling controls the composition of board of directors. Composition of board of directors. So this is, this particular point is possible if S limited holds more than 50% paid up share capital in S limited. H limited is called holding, S limited is called subsidiary. Because if you hold more than 50% of paid up capital, then also you can control the composition of board of directors. Second is your greater than 50% of voting power. The shareholder has got the voting power in the company. Suppose here the total voting power is 1 lakh and out of 1 lakh 60 percent voting power belongs to H limited that is more than 50 percent voting power. Therefore this company which has more than 50 percent voting power is called holding, holding company and the company on which the holding company holds shares is called subsidiary company. So friends, these two things are possible by virtue of your share holding in other company and that other company is called subsidiary company. This is what the law is telling. Now the question arises, why is the need of reading this chapter? Our objective is very clear. Our objective is to find out the group profit, group loss. Because suppose A limited, suppose A limited, holds greater than 50% of share in B limited. There exists a relationship between these two that is holding subsidiary relation and this company can influence this company. Now the thing is that this company and this company will prepare a consolidated balance sheet. Their balance sheet will be called as C consolidated balance sheet. CBS that is your consolidated balance sheet. And this consolidated balance sheet we tell you how much is their profit by consolidation if both the companies, 
how much is the profit they earn how much is the reserve how much is the total asset how much is the total debtor how much is your total creditor that means the total group information will be available similarly suppose say a limited that controls more than 50% share in b limited greater than 50% again b limited controls greater than 50% in c limited right so a limited is the holding company of c limited a limited is also the holding company of b limited right this is a indirect holding this is direct holding this is your indirect holding in actual sense a limited does not invest in c limited a limited is not investing in c limited but a limited holds shares in b b holds more more than 50% share in c therefore a limited is the holding company of c limited so when we prepare consolidated balance sheet we will prepare the balance sheet for this three company in one place right now the question arises that is how this particular cbs that is consolidated balance sheet how it operates suppose this is a balance sheet of holding company h company limited this is the balance sheet of subsidiary company limited now subsidiary company has a share capital let us say the share capital is say 1 lakh so holding company is it has invested in the holding company's balance sheet there is a investment say 10 each that means 10000 share 6000 shares in s limited say purchase price is 75000 so holding company invested in 6000 shares in s limited right it has got 10000 shares so what is the degree of holding the degree of holding that is your we can calculate degree of holding and we can calculate like this this is your 6000 shares and here this is 10000 shares so 6000 divided by 10000 into 100 this is your 60% so 60% of the shares in s limited is held by h limited right that means if we divide this share if we divide this 60000 will go to your holding company and 40000 other shareholders this will go to your minority interest let me tell you what is your minority interest the holding company is held is holding more than 50% share in subsidiary limited so the other persons are generally holding less than 50% share 
and they eat as they are holding less than 50 percent share therefore their status is called minority right and this minority word is very famous in India all of you know that so this degree of holding is 40 percent minority will be 100 minus 60 percent it comes to 40 percent is the minority let me tell you another one example if the degree of holding is say 90 percent that means holding company is holding 90 percent share in s limited so the minority interest, minorities are holding only 10%. This may be also. If you take degree of holding is 100%, then minority holding is 0. This is called wholly owned subsidiary company wholly owned subsidiary company right so this is how we can calculate the degree of holding so number of shares held by holding company divided by the total number of shares in s limited so friends you see the Share capital of subsidiary company goes 60,000 to holding company and 40,000 for calculation of minority interest. Right? Similarly, in consolidated balance sheet, we also prepare consolidated balance sheet like your data say this is your consolidated balance sheet a example here we take the share capital the share capital as we tag here is the share capital of holding company why subsidiary company share capital will go to minority will go to the investment of holding company so subsidiary company share capital is divided into two as i have shown to you a part of it goes to minority a part of it will go to your cost of control that is investment so Subsidiary company share capital will not come, only holding company share capital only holding company share capital will come. Then reserve and surplus. This reserve and surplus the holding company profit, holding company reserve we will tag and a part of the subsidiary company reserve will also come to holding company here. Let me give you an example. Suppose 1000 profit, 1000 profit is there in case of subsidiary company. So out of this 1,000, 1 lakh profit, 60%, 60,000 will go to holding company because holding company holds 60% in subsidiary company. As per their holding pattern, degree of holding 60%. And the 40% of the profit will go to minority interest. 40%. So 60% of the profit will go to holding company and 
minority 40% of the profit will go to minority so 60% plus holding company profit that will come over here holding company plus share from subsidiary company limited this will come over here then creditor it may be loan it may be creditor we will tag that creditor holding company creditor and subsidiary company creditor we will add it and tag it to outside this is your creditor bills payable also same thing at last we shall write the minority interest right the minority interest will come at last what does it mean minority interest that is the interest of the other shareholder who are holding less than 50% share their capital will come their profit will come reserve will come for the minority everything is added we will get the minority interest here similarly in the asset side if we go to the asset side we will say land and building on this land and building the holding company and the subsidiary company both of their land and building will come this is very simple similarly because why we are exactly adding all this thing the things are very simple because we are operating as a group as a whole and we are keeping separate the minorities we are preparing the group as a whole similarly your all the assets will be shown like this then data data also same holding company subsidiary company and if there is any adjustment that will have to be done we will come in detail similarly cash and bank also stock also stock is also there stock also same holding company subsidiary company so let us add and extend it to outside similarly cash will come cash and cash equivalent now h company s company we will add and give it to outside right so this is your a normal form very simple form of cbs consolidated balance sheet now this how to integrate these two companies the companies are different their balance sheet are different holding company balance sheet is different subsidiary company balance sheet is different now the job is how to integrate them how to combine them so that it will reflect the group result now friends very simple thing i like to tell you suppose mr a mr x date of birth is say 162000 this is the date of birth of mr x and on this birth date mr x inherited One lakh rupees of property, rupees one lakh inheritance property. This property is not earned by X. 
by virtue of his birth in the family he is entitled to get rupees 1 lakh from ancestral property or you can say he is entitled to get 1 lakh from his father as property now mr x started earning and during a particular period mr x earned rupees 2 lakhs this is your earnings. Friends, as on the date of birth or before the date of birth, this property, this profit was exist. Therefore, this is called your capital profit. Capital profit. And this property, this 2 lakh has been earned by X after the date of birth. He earned that 2 lakh. This is your revenue, revenue profit. This profit is again called as pre-acquisition profit. You can also say pre-birth profit. Before the holding subsidiary relationship starts, this profit was there. This is your pre-acquisition profit and this is your post-acquisition profit. Post-acquisition profit. Right? So one is your pre-acquisition profit, another one is your post-acquisition profit. So whatever you earn as on the date of acquisition, that is your pre-acquisition, and after the holding subsidiary relationship established, whatever you earn, that is your revenue profit or post acquisition profit. So let us come to the concept here. One of the most important concept H that is your concept 1. This is the financial year of the company. Say financial year is 2022 and it is 31 3 2023. And this is the financial year of S Limited, a subsidiary company. Higher the degree and as on this 1 4 2022. The general reserve, you can say, general reserve was 1 lakh. And on this particular date, the general reserve is say, 1 lakh 50,000. 50,000 more. Now, the date of the holding company holds shares on this particular date. This is your date of holding. So, holding company holds shares, holding company holds shares on this particular date that is 1-4-2022. Let us assume that holding company hold 60% share in on this particular date that is beginning of the year. On this particular date, H Limited, H Limited, the holding company invest. Invest. 
in 60% shares of S Limited. So H Company invests rupees six in 60% shares of S Limited. Now the question arises. As on the date of holding, date of acquisition also, we call date of acquisition. As on the date of acquisition or date of holding, the general reserve was 1 lakh. After that, the general reserve increases, it becomes 1 lakh 50,000. So, 1 lakh is your pre-acquisition profit. This 1 lakh is your pre-acquisition profit, right? And up 1 lakh was there, it increases to 1 lakh 50,000. So 50,000 increase. After the date of acquisition, 50,000 increase. Therefore, this 50,000 is your post acquisition profit post acquisition profit and this post acquisition profit is your 50000 right now how to deal with this pre acquisition profit 60% of this profit will go to holding company share. 40% will go to minorities. Right? So, 1 lakh into 60%, 60,000 will go to holding company share. And 1 lakh into 40%, 40,000 will go to your minority interest. Similarly, post acquisition profit will be divided into two parts. This will be your 60% will go to holding company share and 40% will go to minority interest. But friends, this is a capital profit, this is a revenue profit, the nature of the profit is different. Right? From earning point of view, this is post acquisition earning, therefore it is a revenue income, revenue profit and this is your capital profit. All the capital profit will go to calculation of cost of control that I will show you and all the revenue profit is merged with your holding company profit. The capital profit will go to your cost of control. This capital profit, the holding company share will go to your It will go to your cost of control. And this will go to minority. This 60% revenue profit will be merged with the merged with revenue profit Revenue reserve of holding company. Right? And all the minorities will be placed in one place. So the total minority will come. And the total minority will go to the liabilities of the balance sheet, consolidated balance sheet. Right? Similarly is the case of PL. This is a case of reserve. Similarly is the case of PL. Right? So this is your concept number one. Sim like this we shall continue with 
at least eight concepts so that conceptually you will be clear then we will go to your the format how to deal with the problem and we shall start with the problem this holding company we shall take many number of classes and we shall solve all the problems that a person will be facing in case of your become sixth semester of calcutta university other universities and in case of cma in case of cs and all these persons mcom they will have a no problem we will solve lot of problems on this particular chapter so that students will get the total attention of this particular chapter here so friends if you like the video please subscribe and offer your valuable comments and all your comments will be answered in the next class let us meet in the next class thank you let us continue with the holding company